Have you seen trouble? Has your device been making you mad? We're going to put an end to it. We're going to shoot trouble today. Smash that like button. And we'll get on with it. Jebel wants to say hello, everybody. She wants you to rub her belly. So give her belly rub. Okay, rub guys. A lot of you been having some issues here. Uh, been getting some emails about how your device is, is really just pissing you off and causing you a lot of problems. So what we're going to do is show you what you can do to troubleshoot that. Yeah, we're going to shoot the trouble today. So if you see trouble, you tell them that the iPhone captain is looking for his ass with a 38 special. And we're going to kick his ass today. So let's get on with it, guys. You don't have to throw your device away or smash it against the ground. You don't have to curse. You don't, you don't, you don't have to do any of those things. But I do know they make you feel better because I do them on a daily basis. I actually call this a mofo. I call my phone a mofo at least 50 times a day. And I'm considered to be uh, a better uh, jailbreaker than most and should know a lot more than most because I've been doing this since 2010. It's probably older than some of you. So I'm going to get on with the video and quit, quit just rambling about crazy shit. But anyway, what we're going to do here, I already have put my device in safe mode. Hold the power button, which is referred to as sleep-wake. Uh, it may be on the top of the device if you have something before the iPhone 6. If you have a 6 or older, or newer I should say, it's uh, the, on the side of the device. And you need to hold the up volume key. The up volume key. And do not release the up volume key until the device boots up. You may hear it beep, but continue holding. Once you hear the beep, you can release then. You can release. And when we open up our Yalu app, we get the go sign. So we know that the device isn't jailbroken, but you know, we both know that that's not the case. But anyway, uh, but currently it is not jailbroken, but we're just going to patch the kernel. That's what you do in this semi tethered shit. Uh, don't think I'm not appreciative of this jailbreak, I am, but it does require you to redo it every seven days and all this bunch of hoopla. So, what we're going to do, we got a bad tweak on here, we're going to get off, okay? And the first thing you got to do is put your device in safe mode. And we're going and to do that, you have to get uh, hold the, those keys like I just explained. Then we're then we're able to go in using iFile because you say why do we even need to to do this? Because our device was in a boot loop. We couldn't even get it to do anything. Uh, it wasn't responsive at all until we got it in safe mode. And remove probably the last tweak you installed will be the one you that that will give you help uh, would be the benef most beneficial place to look I should say. All right, what I have done, guys, is I have resprung my device to get my jailbreak in this into a uh, semi-tethered state, if you will. Uh, so we are appearing to be jailbroken. Uh, when we try to open anything up, it just crashes back. You see right there when I try to tap anything, it won't load up anything related to jailbreaking, I should say. Now, what we can do is put this device in what's considered to be a uh, uh, substrate mode, city of substrate mode. And what that does is it just deactivates mobile substrate on the device. And to do that, you need to hold power or, or wake, sleep wake, whatever you want to refer to it as and the volume up. So volume up key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually turn the device off and when it comes, uh, when I start powering it back on, I'm gonna hold power and the volume up key together. Uh, and I'm going to do that until the device beats, uh, uh, boots completely up. So let's go try that, okay? So we're gonna hold home and the volume up together until the device boots and we'll see how things uh, start rolling then if it goes like it should 
then we will be able to go in and start troubleshooting some of the bad tweaks or some of the other uh, methods I'm going to share with you here. Uh, there's actually two or three different th ways you can do this, but you can't do anything until you get your device back under control. And that is being able to get inside of it and you can't do any of that without mobile substrate, city of mobile substrate mode, I think it's called. And you just heard it beep up. So when you hear that, most you can release. Uh, now we should be in mobile substrate, city of mobile substrate mode. Okay. So when we scroll down through here, you see there is no tweaks listed here okay and that is what we wanted to see all right so we go all the way to the bottom down here nothing okay so that's good so now what we need to do is we have to um, go to Cydia I'm sorry the Yalu right here and when the go uh, button comes up we need to tap go and hold volume up so let's go ahead and try that we're going to try we're going to tap uh, go and then we're going to we're going to hold volume up and this is going to put our device I'm sorry in city of mobile substrate and there again when you hear that beeping noise you can go ahead and release I got spit now, okay now guys that we are back up and in uh, mobile city of mobile substrate mode we are able to open up city you, you saw before that we got the crashing now we don't get the crash uh, that is because this is what developers have set up to allow us to remove these faulty bad tweaks or I'm a, I call it bad because it's conflict whatever it is you're needing to remove simply go in here and go to your installed section and just go down the list here and find whatever it is you want to remove uh, whether it be you know Gorgon or, or anything listed here horse uh, hide labels 10 and just mod you just tap modify remove down here at the bottom and then it will re you need to respring if it doesn't respring for you and then that should fix the the problem now what i prefer doing rather than remove my tweaks if i know that the problem is coming from two or three tweaks and normally you can you know this because maybe you downloaded like two or three at one time okay let me show you a simple way to find out which one that is. You need iCleaner Pro, so if you don't have that installed, you need to install it once you get back to wherever you can get back to Cydia. Install iCleaner Pro and come into iCleaner Pro and once it loads up, tap the plus key down in the bottom left and go up at the top and you see where it says Cydia Substrate Add-ons. Type Cydia, tap Cydia Substrate Add-ons and come down here and choose whichever one it is that's causing you the problems okay just turn off whichever one it is and I'll show you exactly what it is I mean by that but now to get back out of Cydia substrate mode all you need to do is just restart your device and yes you will have to tap that Yalu 102 jailbreak thing again which only takes about two seconds so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll be back up in the jailbreak jet the proper jailbroken state. I'm going to try to walk you through, through some of this really fast so you get to see exactly what it is I'm doing so no, there's no confusion. You will have to re-jailbreak like I said. Does it doesn't take just a couple few seconds to do that. Uh, the the uh, longest process will be waiting for the device. Do not hold any keys when you do this, okay? This time when we come in we want to boot back up into the proper jailbreak status and have everything running properly if everything went according to plan and you were able to find the uh, faulty tweak but I'm still going to show you a uh, one one or two more things before we go so don't jump out just yet uh, now we're back in and as you can see here um, 
uh, we're not in a jailbroken state and you may say how do you know that all you have to do is open up Yalu 102 right here and you see the go button that go button tells you that you are not jailbroken I'm going to tap that now whenever it boots back up my label should be gone uh, cylinder which which makes the icon spin that should be functioning uh, Fingal I have several tweaks installed that the minute I see my springboard I should know what it is and that's something else guys we're having a contest for the best uh, jailbroken device setup come over to iPhone captain I have a post I'll put it in the description below leave your setup with your tweak list you may win a new otter box for your device otter box is going to ship it straight to you okay so there'll be no way it can be fake you might say well he's just going to buy one of those knockoffs no I'm not I'm getting you the real deal all you got to do is come over there and leave your actual setup show us a photo and as you can see like I said when it comes back up the, the icons are gone and you see right there cylinders working so now open up eye cleaner that's the little icon you see there with a little with a little broom on it open it up now I'm gonna show you a little trick if I thought that let's say uh, cylinder was causing the issues I could tap the plus key up here at the second one down tap city a substrate add-on go down to city cylinder here toggle it off hit apply up here at the top it will respring now tap yes so it'll respring now when it comes back on everything should be working like it was before besides cylinder this will let you will eliminate which tweak is causing the problem so see how great this is so now when we swipe through look cylinder isn't working so if this was causing our issue we would know immediately whether or not it fixed it and this is a way you can do it very easy very fast and very effectively that uh, guys so keep this little trick up your sleeve and to turn it back on it's the same process in reverse you do the same thing on this time you're going to turn it on and hit apply and you're going to tap yes and let it respring and when it resprings it come back up it'll be working voila magically appears Everything will be right back. No, you don't have to re-jailbreak when you do this. iCleaner Pro bypasses all that. Don't ask me how. It just happens. Through the magic of jailbreaking, here you see. Everything's right back up to running. Guys, there's a few things that shows you how you can remove faulty tweaks. A couple different ways, at least, I showed you. Now, there are other ways <clears throat> if you have access to a, to a computer using iFunbox that I will show in a different video but I want to keep this one without computers you do not need computer to do this one. hope this was helpful smash that like button share it on Facebook and Twitter don't forget to sign up for that giveaway you may win and keep coming back